Alright, so BP is at $20.52 with a market cap of $69.38 billion. And we are slowly hanging in the $20 range. And I, I think we are going to hit the $18 range. So right now, we're slowly creeping down. If you've watched my previous video, I've said this before. And we're seeing a little, little bit of a resistance because everyone is buying BP for its dividend right now, not for its growth. Um, so there are still a few hopefuls, but generally I think we're going to hit the six, $18 range. And then we are potentially going to go back to the $16 range. Uh, cause BP has a lot of issues right now. They're, I think their, their business model is terrible. Now they've changed their whole business. And this article that I'm going to read, just give you a brief update, reinforces that. So, Ineos, which I'm probably butchering that, completes buyout of BP petrochemical business. So, manufacturing giant Ineos has completed a multi-billion pound purchase of petrochemical business from BP. So, they essentially bought this business from BP for $5 billion, which is which in pounds, it's 3.66 billion. And essentially this petrochemical company that they purchased is a building block for the polyester industry, um, key to fibers, films, and packaging. And this makes sense why this happened. So BP, is obviously changing its route and they are doing absolutely terrible whether you, you like to accept that or not their their whole business model is noble and they're doing a great thing but i'm an investor i want to make some fucking money and you should too and this this reinforces that bp is in trouble they are seller selling off assets they're trying to reorganize and it is hitting them very very hard and frankly we're going to probably see a lot more other sell-offs where they can um but you know their whole business was well arguably their whole business was oil and gas they do a lot of pro providing power to cities but that's generally I think it's safe to say they're an oil and gas company and they're trying to get away from that. So they're going to keep selling assets where they can. I mean, heck, they even sold their headquarters a little while ago. The company is, this is a concern company. It, I hate that I own it because I am down a ton of money, but they are still offering the dividend. So if it hits $16, I believe they're going to have to start cutting into the dividend. Um, if they don't, that's awesome. Um, I'm probably going to be a buyer at 16, just because 16 is a nice entry price. In my opinion, there's a lot of room to run up. If they keep offering the dividend, it is a, it would be a, a long-term play for me and I'll just collect dividends until it goes up. So, that's where I'm at, but you should be aware that the company may appear all great, but on the back end, they're selling what they can. I mean, they're just, this is going to keep coming until probably the CEO gets forced out. Um, hey, maybe with the new Biden administration, you're going to see a lot of new green acts and hey, maybe BP might get a lot more contracts. You don't know, but just look at the facts right now. So. Stay on top of it, do your own research, have some fun, make some money. This video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.